Welcome to Eyes on Indies number one. Each video, I'm going to list out some of the indie games that look cool for the future and try to do this weekly. Some have release dates, some don't. Some will move, some won't, but all look cool to me. Subscribe if you like these kind of videos. Dim Day Red. This is by developer One Sick Puppy and published by Envy Softworks. In Dim Day Red, you take on the role of Cillian, a hired killer for the evil syndicates. Create your unique identity by mixing and matching trait cards, then roll the dice to see if you'll be annihilated along with the rest of humanity, or if you'll be one of the lucky few to survive Earth's fiery demise. An action role-playing game that takes its cue from tabletop role-playing games, their emphasis on player agency. Take a roll of the dice, pick your path, and build your character. Go through the breakdown of civilization and the increase in savagery, and strike out on your own. If you're lucky, you won't perish along with the rest of the world. Little Devil Inside. So Neostream Interactive is developing and publishing a new action-adventure video game. This is Little Devil Inside, which has been delayed a number of times but appears to be coming out. It's a single-player and multiplayer version of the game that chronicles the professional and personal lives of explorers who are looking for monsters and strange happenings in a setting that's reminiscent of the 19th century. Third-person, three-dimensional action-adventure RPG light. Little Devil Inside has aspects of survival, battle, and free-roaming exploration. The game's single-player and multiplayer modes both follow the exploits of the characters throughout the entire game, and you can do local co-op. At least that's what I hear. The game looks awesome. I can't wait for this one to finally come out. Manor Lords developer Slavic Magic and publisher Hooded Horse. The medieval strategy game Manor Lords includes extensive city building, massive tactical conflicts, and intricate economic and social simulations. As the seasons and the weather shift and cities flourish and fall under your medieval lordship, you can possibly do the same. Manor Lords is a strategy game that allows you to experience the life of a medieval lord, grow your starting village into a bustling city, manage resources and production chains, and expand your lands through conquest. Inspired by the art and architecture of the late 14th century, Manor Lords prioritizes historical accuracy whenever possible, using it to inform gameplay mechanics and visuals alike, mixing them all together. Common medieval tropes are avoided in the favor of historical accuracy in order to make the world feel more authentic, colorful, and believable. This one actually looks pretty special to me because I like the idea of taking what we expect in some of these genre titles, turn it on its head a little bit. Small Land. Small Land is a microcosm of epic adventure. Experience the thrill of co-op survival in a huge and perilous universe. If you're little and living in a world full of huge beasts, when you're at the bottom of the food chain, you'd better come prepared. Make your own armor and weapons, set a camp, and venture out into the unknown. This game certainly does look a bit like Grounded, but it has a lot to it, a lot of charm, and something about it that I actually really like the look of. I'm hoping to see this one soon. It's also got PvE and co-op, and the idea of going out there with other friends means to me at least two titles are in the smaller-than-the-toys-in-your-backyard genre, and I'm fine with that. Plucky Squire. In this endearing action adventure, the protagonists of a storybook are shocked to find a real three-dimensional world beyond the pages of their book and must go back and forth between the two dimensions to save their companions. Jot and his buddies are fictional characters from a book who embark on a series of fantastic adventures when they learn that their real world is beyond those pages. The plot is permanently altered as the villainous Humgrump pushes the heroic Jot out of the book after realizing he is the villain and doomed to lose his struggle against the forces of good. In order to rescue his companions from Humgrump's evil forces and bring back the book's happy conclusion, Jot has to overcome obstacles, unlike any ever that he's encountered before. The adorable action-adventure game has you hopping between 2D and 3D worlds, solving puzzles, boxing badgers, soaring with a jetpack, and taking out a slew of other mini-challenges as you assume the role of the hero of a real-life novel. I dig the look of this title. The art design's through the roof. Can't wait for it. And that's by Devolver Digital and All Possible Futures. Season, A Letter to the Future. Season's a third-person atmospheric adventure game about a cycling road trip. It's time for you to take your first truly independent excursion away from the home before the end of the world as you know it. You learn about the strange world by seeing it for yourself, taking notes, and engaging in conversations with locals. The gameplay is around going places, making notes, talking to people, and figuring out what's going on in this weird world. Sounds and music and artwork and the experiences of the people in the moment are all captured in various ways by various recording devices. It certainly does at times feel a little bit like everybody's gone to the rapture. Your tools let you get under the surface to underlying culture, history, and environment. The fundamental questions you have to answer in the journey concerns the nature of this season. 
and the mysteries that revolve around it. I think this looks awesome. It's my type of title, one of those games that has you slowly picking apart the mystery of something, and I really do like the looks of this title. Next up, Nine Souls. Nine Souls is a hand-drawn 2D action platformer with deflection-focused gameplay reminiscent of Sekiro. Embark on an adventure in the style of Eastern fantasy and travel to a region previously inhabited by an alien species to join an angry hero in his mission to kill the Nine Souls, the imposing rulers of the region. And this region is known as New Kunlun. Within this enormous realm, the ancient gods pledged to leave mankind with a territory that would be permanently preserved by the holy rites. Nevertheless, the majority of people have no idea what the reality of the real world is. When Yi, a hero from the past who's been forgotten for a very long time, is reawakened by a human child, everything changes. When you join Yi on his mission of vengeance against the Nine Souls, the fearsome rulers of this abandoned land, you're going to engage in battle in, like I said, Sekiro Light to eliminate any obstacles that stand in your way. Explore in this one-of-a-kind scenario, which combines aspects of cyberpunk with Taoism and mythology from distant Eastern cultures. Discover the secrets of a long-forgotten extraterrestrial species and get insight into the future of humankind as you do so. The idea of taking a Sekiro-style game and turning it a bit on its side looks fantastic to me. These are the kind of titles that I think really do cause you to understand just what some indies can deliver. And that's by Red Candle Games. Somerville by Jump Ship. Your family's well-being is paramount, and you must locate the resources to restore that family after a disaster. Somerville is a science fiction adventure that centers on the personal effects of a global war. Let yourself get swept away by a story that unfolds across a beautiful rural setting. Proceed cautiously across the hazardous landscape ahead of you if you want to learn more about the alien visitors to Earth. Somerville is a third-person adventure game that acts a lot like a platformer like Limbo or Inside. In the aftermath of this global catastrophe, the player takes charge of a family of four, a father, a mother, and their young son, as well as a dog. Players control one of the many individuals as they explore the devastated world in search of a safe haven for the family while dodging mysterious alien objects that aim to murder them. It follows in the footsteps of games like Limbo and Inside by omitting those traditional cutscenes in favor of relying on the game's atmosphere, scenery, and actions to convey a great deal of the story. This one looks awesome. Replaced. Sad Cat Studios and Coat Sync. Set in an alternative 1980s America, replaced as a 2.5D sci-fi retro-futuristic action platformer. It features free-flowing action gameplay and a dark, dismal tale. As the player, you take on the role of Reach, an artificial intelligence that finds itself trapped in a human body against its choice and has to learn to adapt to human life in and around Phoenix City. After a nuclear disaster, normal society has been permanently altered for the worse, and outlaws have flourished. Corruption and greed govern everything, and those in authority value human organs as little more than bargaining chips. The single-player campaign of Replaced has a unique blend of cinematic platforming, pixel visuals, and free-flowing action combat. A profound, intriguing, dystopian novel set in an alternative history influenced by cyberpunk's gritty realism and stylized futurism. Investigated as Reach, who's learning the hard way that there is a cost to everything. Brewmaster Beer Brewing Simulator. This is from Fireshine Games. Learn to make beer at home in this calming simulation. Brew everything from hazy IPAs to smooth stouts with a chemical simulator as accurate as the real thing. Adjust the look of your brewery, come up with your own recipes, name your brews, buy new tools, and compete in various challenges. Master the art of brewing and you can join the ranks of the brewmasters. The first ever genuine beer brewing experience allows you to hone your skills as a brewer in every aspect of the process. From developing a recipe to improving the brewing process to naming, bottling, and labeling your finished product. With all the tricks of the trade and the best equipment at your disposal, follow a recipe or experiment with a huge number of real world ingredients to hone your skills. Join local brewing competitions, win beer tokens, and use them to buy better tools to make your beer even better. I like the idea of this. I'm a huge fan of simulator titles and the idea that almost everything that we want to do in real life or frankly don't want to do in real life has a simulator title behind it. The idea that Brewmaster's coming out makes me very excited. Garden Path by Carrot Cake. I already like the idea of this one. I'm a big fan of garden style games and just sitting back, zenning out. And this is one of them, a life simulation focused on the simple joys of gardening. You're in for a pleasant, nostalgic journey along the garden path. Whether you're fishing, farming, trading, or just hanging out with new pals, new wilderness awaits you far from your familiar surroundings. Perhaps there was a past existence here hidden by the thick foliage, and you can investigate that as well. In the garden path, we ponder the peaceful moments of a fulfilled life, where a garden matures to represent both the passing of time and your own handiwork. The past 
clashes of the seasons brings about fresh opportunities for meeting people and developing the plot. The Garden Path is a life simulation that prioritizes peace and introspection, offering its players a secluded setting in which to develop their own personalities. So you can also play small land and then return to this whenever you're done fighting the bugs in the backyard. I like the idea of Garden Path. It's one of those titles that I think I'll enjoy to just sit back and play a little bit of peaceful titles and then jump back into Call of Duty. Or I'll play this next one. Frank and Drake. And while it may sound like a Nickelodeon skit, it is not. This is from Chorus Worldwide Games. Unknown circumstances conspire to put two amazing strangers in the same apartment where they're in danger from the same group of people. Frank is the daytime super of a dilapidated apartment building and worries that he's going crazy. Drake is a photosensitive, so he only works at night, leaving the roommates little choice but to rely on post-it notes as the primary means of communication between them. They're separated but have to work together to solve a mystery and ensure their own survival. This is one of those type of games that I think could easily run off the rails and really tell a story that's disjointed. But at the same time, I like what I'm seeing for this one. And some of the trailers actually look like a mystery I really do want to uncover. This is one of those titles that I think a lot of people won't even talk about. But I think it's something that you should at least keep an eye on. Admittedly, this next one you probably already do. And that is Moonbreaker by Unknown Worlds Entertainment and Craft and Inc. A tactical tabletop game. Moonbreaker is played using a turn-based system created with the intention of providing a genuine digital miniatures experience while taking place in Brandon Sanderson's vast science fiction universe. Steer captain and crew through exciting, ever-shifting competitions and adventures to decide the fate of the reaches. Unknown Worlds, who are creators of the Subnautica games, have created a tabletop tactics game with a turn-based strategy mechanic called Moonbreaker. Take command of your units in exciting turn-based battles where the outcomes are always unpredictable. You use ship assists, roster compositions, map known ledgers, and other strategies to outwit your opponents. Play against the computer or other players in a number of different offline and online competitions. It's easy to pick up, but difficult to put down. At least that's what they say. But what I see of this title really does look like a miniatures, well, digital game. And I love the idea of jumping in there, painting your miniatures. We saw this in a trailer earlier, but it just looks fantastic. And while some people may not necessarily consider them an indie they really are when it comes to exactly how much backing they have and who is actually backing them which is pretty much just them i like the idea of this this game looks insanely polished so those are some of my indie titles that i saw in the last couple weeks that i think are really interesting what are the indie titles you like what did you like in this list leave a comment in the comments section. Subscribe. You can always check out the Patreon. It absolutely helps the channel. And because everything gets demonetized or adult rated from me lately, it really does help the channel as well. Peace out. And I hope you have an awesome week.